Hi guys, Tina Gale here, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a different kind of video. It is time for load again, layout a day. So if you follow me, then you know that I did it in February and I actually got one done every single day. This time, I don't think I'll probably able, be able to do that. I'm not as prepared. I don't have the mindset and there's so much going on. But it's also International Scrapbook Day and month and birthday month and all of that. So I want to play as much as I can and who knows, I might make it all the way. But I thought I would share just a few things as I was going along. Um, so these are going to be random. They're not going to be polished off or anything. So just take them for what they are. This is what I had left from the Little Lumberjack collection. So this is, I used this in the load in February and did a few layouts with it. This came in a scrap room kit. And this is literally all that I had left when I got done with it. And I try to really, especially like my scrap room kits, I try to use up every little last bit of it before, you know, just putting it away. I don't like putting away two and three sheets of paper or whatever. So all I have is scraps. I don't have any full-sized papers. I have quite a few stickers. And so I usually just stick all those together in a little bag and intend on making a page kit out of them. Because this is definitely enough that I could just get a background paper and create another layout. So that's kind of my intentions on that. Um, so that gives you a little sneak into what I do with my page kits when there's that much left. Now I have another one that was just kind of a, it was a make and take that was given at a crop that was to do a double page layout and I ended up using them to do two single pages, uh, kind of off the design that they had, but a little bit different. And you can see that layout in the past. Um, but this was all I had left of it. So this was a sheet that had the border strips cut apart. So when I have something like this, I have a bin that has my branding strips and any little strips like this that I put all together and try to use. But this happened to be in a little slot. They were still all together. So I thought, you know what? It matches really well. It's black and white even though that's got kind of a cream type background this has the wood grain and everything so i threw it in with this again i was using this during load so this was my scraps and if you watched me during load i shared how all my scraps everything that i was using the kits that i had the um, paper collections that i wanted to use they were all in one container so this was all together at the end so i just put it in with this thought it would be a kit so now I'm back to load again, plus National Scrapbook Day challenges. So I pulled this out and I wanna work with it. So I know I need a full 12 by 12 sheet of paper for background. This was in a paper pad. It's actually a fall collection, but it's just this kind of gray and off-white um, check. And I think it's really cute with these papers. So I just stuck it in with that and that's going to be a layout then i went looking for some photos that could go in there and i have these from my husband's birthday last year this is a favorite place of ours to eat and so i threw these photos in with this kit as you can see there's a little bit of blue this was a display outside it was um, the beginning of december so i decided to look through my scraps and try to find some blue because blue will definitely go in with the red and the black so i had this little scrap here again this is a fall collection um, threw that in so that i have a touch of blue i had this scrap in my bin as well that i could use this side if i wanted but it has all of these little rulers and things and it has the red pulls in a couple of extra different colors and my husband's a builder so i like using rulers and things on his layouts um, so i just threw that in there as well you can tell that's pink this is red bright true colors this is muted so it may not work but when you cut them apart and just use little bits like this is a wood ruler and a wood ruler here you'll be amazed at how well they work so this strip if you cut this away that strip is perfect for what I have going on in here. So that is the scraps that I had. So to go for the challenges right now, 
I have a couple of different things. Um, so I'm definitely doing load. So this is for day one and the challenge is love me do. So it's about something or someone you love, which I love my family, love my husband. We're celebrating his birthday and we love going to Lambert's and eating and just gorging on food and hot rolls here. So I decided those were perfect. This kit's perfect. So the technique was to use four things. Well, I have four photos, so I'm gonna to try to get all four photos on the page. I'm gonna to try to keep it a single page. Um, so using four things, photos, embellishments, um, four different patterned papers, anything that you want. So with load, you can do the technique, you can do the prompt, or you can just do your own thing. So today I'm gonna to try to do both. Then for another challenge, for RTS, they have one of use what you have. So this is definitely, I'm trying to use up what I have. This was leftovers that was gonna probably get lost into you know a scrap container or something like that and may never get used again, but I'm gonna use it up. Um, let's see if there was anything else I was supposed to do. So something that you're hoarding, paper that you're hoarding, which I was hoarding this little lumberjack for so long because I just think it's so cute. Um, you need some alphas and some embellishments that are over one year. So this is the rest of my kit that I'm doing. And again, I'm just kind of pulling together a layout, so I don't have a whole lot. I have a wood camera. I have wood enamel dots that have definitely been in my stash for over a year. This has been in my stash for probably six, seven years that I keep trying to use. It would be perfect on this, but since I'm going to try to get four photos, I don't know if I can get that in there. I have some of these little stars. I have um, word labels, which are always great. And then just some little stickers. This is part of a, a kit, a collection too, and these are just kind of leftovers. There were so many with it, I didn't get them all used. But the colors, some of the colors kind of match. So I just throw them in. Since I have wood grain going, that's some cork labels. <coughs> Excuse me. These are some travel stickers, and there's an alphabet in here as well that I can use. Some travel rub-ons. Um, I don't think I'll use those. And I pulled this stamp out. I was sorting stamps, and this is one that I had bought used, um, well, from someone's stash, but you can tell it's never been used. Um, so I really want to try to use this on the layout. So those are my supplies, and I had printed off this month's page mat sketch, and it, please ignore that. I had to print it again because my ink's running out. Um, there's this one up here that's got four photos, journaling spots. That's just a grid design, so I could kind of do something like that. I'm mainly just looking for the background papers, what I can do that will actually show up, kind of like this that's just a band design. I may do something like that, because um, that will actually show up if I use all four pictures, which this is kind of the same thing. It's just a block behind that. So it'll probably be something like that. So I'm gonna get busy. I'm gonna try to get this together really fast so that I can do some more challenges this weekend. So I hope you enjoy this, and I'll be back with a finished layout. All right, so I'm back with my finished layout. And as you can see, I did get all four photos in. I went ahead and followed the layout of the photos and journaling type here, but more of this band design. And even the way they had the banners down here, I got the banners in. So I did reprint these two photos. So they're three by fours. So I put two of them on a four by six so that I could fit it all on here. I could have cut down some of these photos, but it still would have taken up most of the 12 by 12 paper. And I like my pattern paper, so I wanted it to show. So I did reprint those, but again, I just kind of combined the block up here and the band design down here. So what I did was this piece of paper was the exact piece that the scrap was. And then this paper that you can see peeking behind some of these photos was that red and white polka dot, and it ends right here. So it's not big enough to mat all of my photos. 
So a trick that you can do when you have paper like that, don't be afraid to use it. I could have even done it without this plaid paper back here and you would not have noticed by the time you embellished and everything. But I had this plaid that you can tell is this wide. So that was the exact size of the paper. I just tucked it in on the right, left a pretty wide border at the top, the bottom, and the side. So you don't even notice that this red background does not go all the way behind all of the photos. So don't be afraid to use those papers that are a little bit smaller. And then again, taking a key from, or taking a cue from the sketch here, there was banners all along the bottom, which I didn't want to do that. So I used some stickers from the sticker sheet and I used um, some of the puffy arrows, which I'll go through and show you what I used and what I didn't use. Um, these little wood slices here was fussy cut from the pattern paper. So I had just a small piece an off cut of it and it had a three that were full sized and I had I actually cut two these little ones here that were just running off the page but they're tucked up under so it doesn't matter so I fussy cut those to use as my basis for some of my clusters so let me show you what I did use well let's start with the paper what I have left I still have paper left that I could use so, okay, so I have some branding strips. I have three of these pieces that I didn't use here. I did use one of the arrows. I fussy cut it to use in the banner. I didn't put the blue or this paper in. And this is what I have left from the Little Lumberjack collection. So I'm down to these two pieces of paper, which I could make a couple of cards since I have lots of stickers left on here. So I may do that just so that I can finish this off. I may just make a couple of quick little cards for men because I don't ever have cards for guys. So that's what I have from the original. I did use the stickers from this um, Hello World collection. So I used the alphabet to make my title up here. Um, Let's see, I took a geotag from up here, and there was one of these, this arrow here is from this pack. Then from the rub-ons, I was kind of afraid because that these might not work. They're from 2015, sorry, 2015, and rub-ons don't have a very long shelf life. They came off like butter. Um, they were probably the best rub-ons I've ever used. So. This arrow and this arrow is from the rub-on. The little heart. I was thinking I did one other thing. Two arrows. So maybe that was it from the rub-ons. What else? These, this is where these little puffy arrows came from. So I got that in. And again, I used my enamel dots, I still have some left, but I did not use these pieces. So again, I wanted to use that, but it was just way too big for that. I wanted to put these in, but I had lots of different words and stuff on, so I didn't include those. One thing that I used that I am really proud of is I did stamp. I used this stamp down here, stamped it up here, pulled out my new, Tim Holtz Stamper. Um, this was the first time that I've used it. Was a little disappointed because I, I knew it was um, where you could use it on a layout, but I don't know. In my head, I had it that it was going to be bigger than this. <laughs> so I was kind of surprised when I used it. Um, it worked. I, I won't say I'm wild about it, but used a new tool that I've had for over a year, probably used a stamp that I bought a few years ago that I'd never used before and I'm always wanting to stamp on layouts but I never get it done so I did have my journaling my title my date it's all done and finished thanks to load and a challenge for RTS so I hope you liked this kind of informal and jumping in and out 
to see my layouts. Let me know what you think about it. I'll try to do more as I work through load this month if these are okay because I just don't have time to do voiceovers because uh, I want to get layouts done. So I hope you're enjoying National Scrapbook Day weekend month and the load. I'll have links down below for everything if you want to join in on load. It's a lot of fun. I absolutely loved it. February was the first time I've ever done it and um, I am sold. I absolutely love it. So I'll be doing it from here on out. Again, those links will be down below and I will see you soon. Have a scrappy day. Bye-bye.